I'd have to really, in order to answer that question, point to my father. My father was an excellent example of, of justice because he's a very honest person and believes in honesty and believes in, in taking care of other people. There would be numerous times when I was a child, we'd be even at the grocery store and someone needed help with their groceries. My father was the first one to volunteer. And if there was someone broken down on the road, to stop and find out what was wrong and make sure that they were taken care of. My father has always had a strong sense of community and that's that same sense. Uh, he, he led by example and uh, certainly rubbed off on me. And I felt the need once I uh, began my profession as a lawyer that it was important for me to give back, that I wouldn't be able to really find fulfillment in what I expected out of my life and my career if I wasn't doing something to help those who couldn't help themselves. One of my most memorable clients was um, in the very, I had in the very beginning of my career where I was helping out on a pro bono matter uh, for a grandmother who was trying to get custody of her grandchild who had been um, horribly abused on both sides of the family and it was just a terrible, terrible situation. And I remember the grandmother making the decision very late in life to adopt the child and bring him into her life, which was a very difficult decision for her to, to make. But in the end, when I was able to help her get custody of her grandchild, there, I, there was just a strong sense of being, that I was actually wielding the sword of justice, which you don't often get to feel at times being a lawyer uh, particularly when you're, when you're a commercial lawyer, you know, oftentimes, uh, certainly we all have the, the big companies and, and, uh, that we represent that certainly drive, uh, and drive the, the business and certainly pay the rent. But it is important to keep in mind that there are those people out there that really uh, don't have the resources to be able to help themselves. And that just because they can't help themselves doesn't mean that they are, are less deserving of legal representation. And it was that experience with that grandmother that led me to wanting to do more pro bono work and particularly working with uh, the Children's Project. I volunteer with Legal Aid Center because I, as I mentioned earlier, I think it's very important for me in my, in my life, in my career, to be able to give back. I don't think that I would feel like I was a complete person if I wasn't doing something to help other people. And it's very important to me to be able to work with legal aid because I believe in the, the mission, I believe in what they're doing, and uh, particularly my work with the Children's Attorney Project really brings me a lot of, of joy. Working with the children and helping them particularly in a situation where they are, with the, the situations that they are in, where they can't help themselves and they're in a predicament that was n of no cause of their own. They, need, they needed a voice and I'm happy to be that voice and I'm happy to work with Legal Aid and I really enjoy doing the work.